recording sound good oh 10 turp tech checking in i'm your turp technician charles what's good um yeah man you know what now that i got my new setup i, I just wanted to use it a couple times tonight make sure i get the hang of uh how this thing is supposed to go i'm pretty uh I'm pretty tuned up right now. I've done a couple tours. A tour, that's when you do one of everything in the uh, in the drug box. I pulled out the Dynavat. You know, I'm kind of uh, impartial with this thing here. And, uh, it's a great product, Dynavat. You check them out. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking to get out of smoking and you just want to. Or maybe you just want to try something new. Something new that's, uh, wow. That's extremely familiar. That's what I'll say. Um, I guess, I don't know, I turned this thing back on because, um, <coughs> I was sitting out here and I was emptying my backpack. I'm in the process of purchasing a new backpack. Old backpack was a, uh, Columbia. It served me well. You know, I had it for some for some years, not real huge, but I don't carry a whole bunch of crap. I uh, had a big pocket in here, a couple pockets, you know what I'm saying? I really, I, I would have liked more pockets, but the reason I'm getting rid of it is like, it's, it's, it's all funky right here. There you, when you pull it, it's ripped. It's got a, uh, it's got a bullet hole in it right there. Uh, I didn't get shot. Don't worry, I'm okay. So, I'm online, and you know I talked about I'm a, I'm a military veteran, uh, 95 to 2001, uh, MP. I was the medic for my platoon. We went to Bosnia, I was a medic. When we were in the field, I was a medic. Except, I guess when we were on the road, I was a medic too. Everybody's a medic on the road. Uh, close. So I was online and I saw this bag. And I said, man, the way they had it online, it was all, you know, looking crispy. It looked real crispy. Puffed out, it had the, uh, and you know, I knew I had one strap. You know, that didn't didn't bother me, but I didn't think I thought it would be long enough that I would be able to sling it across my body. Well, it ain't long enough. And then, frankly, for the stuff that I'm carrying, I need two straps, man. I can't. You know, a lot of times this thing is in the car, but a lot of times I have to carry it. And if I have to carry it, I want to at least be comfortable. Um, but I also want to protect my crap. That was the other thing. Um, I wanted a, a hard shell backpack. So I had a few to pick from. And I'm actually going with uh, the North Face Access. So when that comes in, we'll do an unboxing. But yeah, I was meantime, in between time, I ordered this motherfucker right here. And it's absolutely ridiculous. The cheap ass zippers. The zippers not YKK. This is some cheap bullshit. I'm kind of salty. Um, I already promised this to somebody. I'm gonna give it to somebody, a uh, good friend of mine. He wanted it, so I told him I said, "Yeah, you can. Uh, it's all you, baby, bro. It's not really. I mean, it's my. The camo is my style. I love the camo. I love the fact that it's you know I only got one strap." But here's where they fucked up. The 
strap should have been offset or should have been like a three-point strap because you're just carrying it around and it's if you can see that that's some bullshit you know what i'm saying especially if you got a couple pounds of stuff in here then i tried to sling it and slinging it i mean it's okay but you could tell that that's not what that's not how it was intended to be carried and that's okay you live and you learn um, yeah. you live and you learn that's what's up so medic bag no good north face access is is in so we made one of these videos I'll do uh uh, maybe when I do the, the unboxing for the new uh, backpack, I'll go through the stuff that I carry in my bag. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a bunch of stoner shit. You know what I'm saying? Not nothing crucial. You know what I'm saying? I have like a little bit of, keep some, uh, some calories in there just in case you never know where you're going to be. Keep some calories. Uh, let's fire homeboy up again. And let's do some uh, little tropical heat. I think last time I did that, the garlic, that shit smacked me in the face. But yeah, actually the reason I wanted to do this video, speaking of smacked in the face, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I was sitting out here, I call this the dash, this is the dashboard, this is where everything go down. Y'all can't see it, but it's a, uh, a low foldable table, a uh, little plastic table. And I got all my stoner shit spewed out on it. Um, it all packs up nicely in this, uh, this little case that I carry around. Not the glass pieces and shit like that. Those uh, I pretty much leave out. My kids know what's good. I don't want them in the weed, but this is, I mean, uh, these are not, they're not gonna, they, there's no question about that. You know, they know what it is. We talk about it, nobody's trying to hide nothing from them. And you shouldn't hide shit from your kids. Cause if you hide shit from your kids, they're gonna do that. And the next thing, trust me. <laughs> My mother tried to hide some shit from me. I did that, the next thing, the thing after that, the thing after that, and the thing, I, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, you know what I'm saying? It only stopped when I hit rock bottom, but that's a whole nother story uh, in and of itself. But the reason I wanted to do this video um, is because I was sitting out here and I had my wallet out. And uh, I was looking for this backpack. And I just had my wallet out just in case, you know, I found a good deal uh, on something, but I didn't. So I made an offer on one on eBay, maybe I'll get that one. If not, I'll just find buy it on some random site, Moosehead or whatever the hell I found. But anyway, uh, that fell out. That is a uh, 19, or I'm sorry, 1884, I believe it's called a Morgan silver dollar. If anybody, if I'm wrong, just put it in the comments what that is. Um, in the comments. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, put in the comments what that is. But the reason I was making this video um, is because I started a new thing. I'm in a new phase of my life, hence the, uh, the, the videos. Um, hence me letting my stoner self out um you know what i'm saying so I, i'm doing some new things um i'm doing some new things with my health i'm doing some new things with my money bang health and wealth because if you don't have the health it don't matter how much money you got but anyway every uh every pay I take, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever it costs and I buy a gram of gold and an ounce of silver. Um, so for the last two pay cycles, I have 
two grams of gold and two uh and they're just silver eagles you know one ounce silver eagles but because the silver eagles cost less i did order a few of those so and i have the uh the morgan i believe it's called um yeah i got a few and i got a uh some kind of commemorative one but that's not the point the point is that it's it's all silver and there's it's real money you know that's real that's what that's what real money sounds like shekels <laughs> that's what it sounds like that's what your money's supposed to sound like they took oops, Morgan dollars smaller they took the money away from us now you have to buy the money I bought this online and I paid taxes to buy it and I'm thinking how ridiculous that is that I just spent money to buy money and I had to pay tax on the money that I bought uh, it's, it's a fucking criminal um, anyway but I digress um, the point is that you know, I'm getting now in my older age. I'm I'm good at saving my money. Um, I'm good at saving my money, and I'm just looking for other ways to invest. Terp Tech, peace.